Hey guys, so I wanted to make a little quick comparison battle video between the NARS Yachio brush and the Japanese Kabuki brush. Now, I believe the Japanese Kabuki is discontinued. I got mine at allcosmeticswholesale.com. I got my NARS brush at NARS.com. They do not sell these brushes at Sephora. They might sell them at the counters. The NARS Yachio brush I've had for a while. I want to say it retails for $50 or $52, which is crazy. And the Japanesque is half that. It's $25 on All Cosmetics Wholesale. Now, Ulta sells Japanesque brushes in their stores, but they do not sell this brush. I searched high and low. Um, so basically, if you were to dye this whole brush black or dye this whole brush white, they would essentially look identical. Basically have the same concept where it's a really, it's not a metal um, ferrule or a wood handle. It's more of like... Um, I don't even know like what this is made out of or what this is made out of, but it's wrapped really tight with like wiring or something. The end of the Japanesque brush has a little loop. I'm not sure what that's for, but then this is actually what the handle is. It's like a plastic, just piece of plastic, whereas the end of this, the NARS, is just some kind of stick. I don't know. And then if the ferrule is kind of poked out, they kind of essentially look... This, my creepy eyes like right there. They kind of eventually look the same as far as the fullness and the shape of them. Application wise, I would use, and I only really use these brushes, for really, really high pigmented blushes. So I'm going to do a little demo. I have blush on. I have NARS's Doser blush on from early this morning. Um, I'll just show you what that blush looks like for your own reference. But I'm going to reach for my most pigmented blush. This is Exhibit A. This is Azalea from MAC Pro. So, totally different colors, but I would say these are probably the brightest blushes of my collection. And these are the type of blushes that I would use this brush for. Um, I'm going to go with this one just because it's a little bit, it'll go okay with what I had on. This one might go a little off. but So, I'm going to apply... One cheek with one brush and the other cheek with the other, just so you can kind of see. I think the whole um, basis behind the creation of this brush was to just get a very light application using a light hand. Um, you know, you're not using like a huge handle where and a huge brush where you have tons of control. You have you can hold this from the very tip and get a really really light application. You could hold it. Fail. You could hold it at the fatter part and get a more pigmented application, depending on how heavy or light you want to go. I tend to hold it right in the middle, and I go like that. Don't get me wrong, I do use this brush for a lot of my blushes, but I specifically only feel comfortable with my really, really pigmented blushes when I just want like a pop of flush to my cheeks. I will use either of these brushes. So on my right cheek, I'm going to use the NARS Yachio. I'm going to smile and just hit the apples on my cheeks. Um, the brush, the NARS Yachio brush, is extremely soft. Very, very soft. I've washed it plenty of times. I have had no problems with it um, shedding or anything like that. And it just gives a really nice flush to your cheeks. Um, like I said, if you wanted a heavier application or you really want to blend it out, you can hold it closer to the brush. But I tend to use this brush further back on the handle. And that just gives me like a nice little wispy blend. So there's the NARS. I'm going to take the same brush with the same little technique here with the Japanesque brush. Same blush with the same same blush with the Japanesque brush. Smile and again just right on the apples. Now I would say um, softness wise they're about equal. For all of you that always tell me my blush is too heavy, you are going to love this video. Um, again, you could hold it closer, but I like to hold it further away. Now, obviously, this is way heavy, but I'm just trying to show you that you can really pack it on. Um, all right, now let's look at the results here. Obviously, this side is a lot darker, and, and I basically use the same hand to apply them and this is where the big difference comes in. 
the Yachio brush is almost sprayed or painted with some kind of lacquer over top the wiring. So it literally feels like almost like a plastic. Like I can't bend it or do anything with it. It's not flimsy. If I wanted to start peeling this back, I couldn't. But um, it's very, very sturdy. The Nars Yachio brush um, is not covered or coated in any kind of lacquer. It's just wrapped. And for that reason, look what's starting to happen. These are starting to come undone. Now, I'm probably going to cut these. I purposely didn't because I wanted to show you this once it started happening. But, um, it's coming unwrapped. Um, so yeah, like you could tell right here, that's a pull and it's starting to come undone. Um, and this is what really makes me mad. Now that it's becoming undone, this is starting to loosen. And that is really unfortunate. However, because it's so lightweight and not protected or coated in anything, that is why I got the lighter application with this brush because it's a lighter, it's a lighter brush. And it totally makes sense because if you think about all the blush brushes we use and whatever, they have the thick handles and it, I think it just tends to make us go a little bit heavier without noticing it. But with this having such a lightweight brush, it just really applies the color really really nicely and lightly but on this side you know it went on a little bit heavier but that is because this is a heavier brush like if you were to hold them in your hands this one is this one's a lot heavier um, but in that same breath I do not I mean I paid fifty dollars for this brush and it's breaking it's um it's a very very delicate brush so you know I didn't even know about the Japanese brush when I first ta started talking about this a couple um subscribers and viewers commented that the Nar or Yachio makes a very similar brush and that's when I looked into it. I had no idea. But w when I bought this brush and was using it, it was like amazing and I loved the, the concept of it and I loved how it applied my brush blushes. But um, the fact that it's like coming undone, I mean I understand why because it is such a delicate brush and it's it's really, I'm sure it's made by hand, like it's really very particularly made, but if I'm going to spend $50 on a brush, you better make sure it lasts me a very long time, and I've probably only had this brush for about a year. Whereas this one, being that it is a heavier brush, is a lot more durable. I don't have to be so careful with this. I don't have to, you know, watch and make sure little threads aren't coming undone. Does it apply the blush a little bit heavier? Yes, but you can you can go light with this brush, you just really have to control your hand a little bit more. Whereas with this one, you kind of can let the brush do the work for you. With this one, you just have to have a little bit more control with your hand. But essentially, you can get the same application with this brush. So for the giveaway, I'm going to actually be giving away the Japanese brush only because I just couldn't, as much as I like the application of this one better, I just couldn't fathom spending another $50 for a brush that ultimately just might come apart. I don't think that's that's nice and like I said essentially these will give you the same application um, it's just you just have to have more of a light light hand with this one and the other reason I wanted to give this one away instead of this one is because this is a discontinued brush and I know not it's not accessible to everyone whereas this one if you really want this brush you can go on and buy it but I just like the fact that I mean I travel with my brushes I keep it in my kit like it's it travels. I can't be worried about a brush that I, you know, that it's going to break or something. And I don't have any fear like that with my Sigma or MAC brushes. They're durable. They hold up. I don't have to worry about taking them with me places or them breaking. Like, it's it's great. But with this one, I mean, with but with this one, I just really have to feel like I have to be careful. And I don't want to have to be careful. Um, when you invest that kind of money in a brush, you want it to, you want to be able to depend on it and not have to worry about it and be so careful with it. So... I'm beginning, going to be giving away a brand new Japanese brush. Um, so if you are a subscriber, then you're already entered in my contest giveaway. So you don't have to do anything at all for this video. You just have to be a subscriber. And hopefully um, whoever wins this brush will like it as much as I do. And I think it will also help you to not be so scared to pick out 
really bright blush blushes because of the application because I really need to even these cheeks out because it's bothering me. Even though I look like a doll, but that's okay. You guys can all make fun of me some more. I really like the concept of these brushes and I like how they apply blushes and I like how it keeps you from being too scared to try like the more pigmented blushes because you know you can actually get a light hand without just you know using a regular blush brush but trying to be really light it's kind of hard to do that especially when a lot of these brushes are so densely packed and they are so thick the brush is the brushes are so thick that it kind of makes it hard to go light even if you wanted to like with this brush it's so thick and heavy that you really can't get a light application with that so I hope that this video helps some of you out that were wondering about the NARS Yachio brush. Do I think it's a good brush? Yes. Do I think it's worth what their asking price is? Heck no. Um, get this brush while you still can. If you still can on All Cosmetics Wholesale. I paid for both of these brushes with my own money. They did not send these to me. I paid for the NARS brush too, unfortunately. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.